Hey everybody, SF Logic Ninja here, or you can call me David Earl. I don't care. Uh, made a video for you this Sunday from home, and it's going over the hyperedit window and a little bit on how to set up your control service with Logic. Hope you get a kick out of it, and um, hope you're having a great holiday uh, if that's your thing. And I will talk to you a little bit later. Ciao. Okay, everybody. So here is a blank four bar. Come here. Blank four bar region. Okay. Now I'm going to use the hyper editor. I'm going to get in here to the hyper editor, and it comes with the default hyper set. Okay, the default hyper set is showing us different types of controller information. It's showing us volume, pan, modulation, pitch bend, channel pressure, etc., etc. Controller information has to do with controlling parameters of a specific device within Logic. So you might be changing volume on something, you might be altering a filter cutoff, etc., etc. So if I go to volume, the difference with the hyper editor versus automation is that it actually does it to a grid. So if I was to draw like so, it's adjusting volume, but it's doing it via 16th notes. Now, how do I know it's 16th notes? If I go right here, it says grid 16th notes. So when you have the hyper edit window uh, open in the arrange window, you'll note that the inspector on the left hand side, its parameters are actually following what you have here in the hyper edit window. So right now it's this particular uh, lane, which is what I like to call it, is assigned, it's got the name volume, the status of the MIDI information is control. You can also do MIDI notes, which I'm going to show you in a second. And the controller number is seven. Seven is automatically assigned to volume. Now, a more practical use for this would be for doing drum programming and using this grid to uh, write our MIDI notes. So I'm going to go uh, click here to put the hybrid window back in focus. And I'm going to select instead of MIDI controls, I'm going to select the hyperset called General MIDI Drum Kit. So these are all MIDI notes that are assigned to drums in a general MIDI drum kit, which most drum kits that you get nowadays in most sample libraries, that's how they're going to do it. So um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to find myself a kick. There we go, kick one. Now, if I have a pencil tool and I click, then it's actually going to create a kick drum at each of these locations. Oops. If I made an errant note, I can get the erase tool. Get rid of that. Boom. Da -da -da -da. Let's see, I want one here, I want one here, one here. That should be good. Okay, it's not plain. It's probably because my instrument's all the way down in volume or something. Oh! <laughs> could be that I need to actually put a drum kit there. So let's see. Uh, na, 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 na. Electronic. Yes. Supersonic. Okay, there we go. Now when I click, you'll actually hear a note. That's because in all of the MIDI editors in Logic, if this is on, when I click a note, it's going to actually play the data back to me. If I turn this off, then it won't. Cool, huh? Okay, so if I put it in play, now if I drag to the right and down, it's here I was changing the velocities. Now let's let's kick up the vault and let's kick up the uh, tempo a little bit. That's more like it. So if I click and drag, it'll actually drag them according to the grid. So check it out.
Okay, now it's important to note that this is velocity that it's drawing. The vertical is velocity, not volume. Velocity, how hard I'm hitting the key. So, pretty cool, huh? All right, so that's how the uh, hyper editor works. So, a um, little quick tip on uh, assigning controllers. If I double click on the EXS24, Options, Track Automation, Track Automation Settings. To get your control surface set up, just hit Automation Quick Access on, Edit, Easy View. Click on Cutoff, Twist a Knob, click another uh, knob that you want to use. Twist the knob on your controller. Once you have that together, then you'll be able to control them without any problem at all. Helps if you actually turn the filter on, of course. Alright guys, until our next cartoon, take care.